I'd say probably at least two or three times a week because we have, we're here until about 12 o'clock and we have a lot of drunken men that just come up and annoy you all the time, whether it's like over touching on their hands when you give them a receipt or all sorts of different things. This is Chloe. In her words, she experiences harassment very often while working. She's a supervisor at the Marriott Courtyard in Aberdeen. It's located here, right next to the Aberdeen Airport. From what they tell me, the hotel has contracts with offshore firms, so they have a steady supply of customers. In other words, the workers, they sleep here before flying to the rigs. This is her worst experience with one of those customers. One person who came behind the bar, picked me up, kissed me on the side of my neck, and then tried to carry me out of the hotel. So that was interesting. But Chloe is not the only person that has dealt with harassment. Gosha is an associate at the same hotel and she shares a similar opinion. To be honest, it, it, happen, it happens quite often actually. It, it depends it, on, the, on the, how drunk the person is. Uh -huh. The more likely the person is to mistreat you. I've had people like um, pulling my hair at the bar as well. But what are the procedures if such behaviors occur? I wanted to know more. Tell me what you think. Okay, so the first thing we had to do was report it directly to his company because we're an offshore hotel. And we also report it to our own staff and we have a little red panic button behind our bar. So I tried staff and like four staff members all came running. And then we got him to the other side of the bar. Then his company was called, our hotel manager was called. I then had to have a full meeting with our hotel manager. After that, there's a like, kind of form that we filled out to say if I was okay, if I wanted to return to work, and all of the lava. Then after that, his company actually came over here and picked him up. He got banned from all the hotel. And he also got fired because it was his incident of doing the same thing, but across different hotels. And that's pretty much it. So, people are still being harassed while doing their job. But isn't that a thing of the past? I went to downtown Aberdeen to find out if this wasn't just a problem with the airport hotels. I visited Belmont Street since it has the largest number of pubs and clubs and is the place of choice for many people on the weekends. I found Pimp behind the bar at Triple Kirk's, a common place for all kinds of folk to get a drink and enjoy football matches or play games. Intermittently, nothing severe. It's been sort of an inappropriate comments or um, people getting somewhat aggressive with our patients. Um, but mostly, they're our customers that come in here are quite pleasant in general. She says she can handle dealing with customers and isn't afraid to call security when needed. Yeah, just the job effect, yeah. and then people lashing out because they don't have to handle their alcohol. Next, I made my way to Union Street, the main street of Aberdeen. That is where BrewDog is located. It's considered a slightly posher place, so maybe here the customers will be more polite. There, I met Millie at the bar. She didn't want her face recorded, but was happy to share her experience. Uh, this morning, I was bending down to write some uh, beer names on the board, and a man was talking to Nina, and he like, bent, like, went over to look at me and was like, I'm enjoying the view right now. Wow. I would just ignore it, usually. During the interview, she mentioned she had worked in weather spoons before, and when she compared, there were some differences in the customers and how they were dealt with. I feel like as brutal a bit more upper class in a way. Like the customers that come in are like have more money, but sometimes that can make them ruder because they think they like own you. After that, I had to visit Archibald Simpsons, which is a weather spoons pub in Aberdeen. It offers cheap drinks and is a meeting point for older folk and students. A few times from customers who uh, like to throw around homophobic slurs um, when they're annoyed or when something's inconvenient for them. But aside from that, you know, uh, don't let it bother me. I mean, in the end, they're, I mean, they're always, they're out of touch with the <laughs> With everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. managers are helpful. Yeah. A lot of the people I interviewed associated unruly behavior with alcohol. Some of the women blamed older men specifically. Only in one bar, the wig on Union Street, did I find a woman who had not been harassed at all at work. However, she was quite a new employee. How long have you worked here? Um, for like a month maybe. Have you seen any, any of your colleagues been harassed at all? Honestly, no. Um, there's a range. There's some older customers that come in and they're super nice. And then there's some younger ones that come in and they're super nice as well. 
A lot of students and young people in general tend to be employed in customer service jobs. As we saw, the experience they get from their workplace depends on the people and the place they serve at, but nowhere on the job ad does it ever say the type of environment you're entering. Most people ignore the nasty comments, some deal with them themselves or call people for help. In any case, where there's a bar, there's a bartender and a drug that they have to deal with one way or another.